I want to thank Dr. Lacey for inviting me. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. And in the first live event, it's, a, it's an honor to be here. I think it's my third time to be here. And this is the first time I was here with um, Bill Heald as a moderator. And we had a perfect case. I didn't bring the video because we have seen the video so many times. It was a beautiful case, beautiful planes. And so as a young surgeon and respecting Bill Heald as well a lot, um, I was impressed that time already. And I did some work with Bill Heald, and uh, today I want to. I did something special for Dr. Lacey as well uh, with the videos and, and trying to, to impress you all a little bit, but also showing what I think uh, could be a way to a stepwise procedure. So that's what I wanted to do for this course. Now, this is just an introduction on onto how I do it. Um, I think before surgery, you have to prepare well. You have to prepare with the patient on digi digital examination and very well on MRI. And um, we always read and say that the best patients are the patients with a narrow pelvis, obese patients, um, big prostate. But I think it's more than that. It's, you know, it's much better if you have a very low lesion and when you have a very difficult stapling and you have a lot of crossing staple lines, then you're doing a bad job, not only in the dissection, but also in stapling of the distal rectum. Um, so I think you have to prepare on MRI. Um, what we do now, um, after about 40 cases, is that when the tumor, and we only focus on the anorectal junction, so the upper border of the internal sphincter, if our tumor is um, within two centimeters from the anorectal junction. We start without the device, we start the dissection and then introduce the device. If it's above two centers, we start like we have seen today with the gel point part with a pl flexible platform. And of course, if the prostate is bigger, it's easier, you know, it helps when you come from below, but it's much more than that. It's for much more cases than that. So the prostate, you know, you can argue about that, but um, that's not the big issue. I think you also have to um, appreciate the angulation between the anal canal and the posterior elevator ani. You know, it doesn't help you at all during the dissection, but you have to appreciate it and you have to know the anatomy, like we have seen today, that although the posterior part was difficult today, um, I think you have to go in a steep way and follow the curvature of the uh, of the concavity of the sacrum.